films earlier, starring in something with Boy George. Let's talk about Boy George. So yesterday it was mentioned when it was on the show that there's a biopic in the works for Boy George. And shout out to Pink News because they wrote a story on it. So a new biopic about culture club singer and queer British music star Boy George, who rose to fame in the 80s, is in the works, and the internet has many thoughts. Now, the film, which is still in the early stages of development, will be executively produced by Boy George himself, alongside his manager, Paul P.K. from the Housewives of Beverly Hills. I forgot that's his manager. Dorit husband, chair. Yeah. So this is uh, Paul Kemsley and Oscar-winning crash producer Kathy Shulman. I wonder if this is going to actually be a storyline in the upcoming show. Because, you know, they're all filming The Housewives of Beverly Hills right now. But anyway, they said, How to Get Away with Murder and looking writer J.C. Lee will write the film's script. Now, according to Deadline, the new biopic will focus largely on Boy George's rise to fame as part of 80s pop band Culture Club, who were catapulted to the spotlight in 1982 with number one hit, do You Really Want to Hurt Me? And shout out to the late, great Sir Ari Gold, who actually covered that song on his album. I think it was on Space Under Sun, or one of the, his albums that he did. The following year saw the 80s band release their most recognizable song to date, Karma Camellia. Karma Chameleon. That was like Karma Camellia, because that's the way I be singing the song. Karma Camellia. <laughs> <laughs> which also hit number one on the charts in the UK, America, Canada, and Australia, among other countries. Don't forget, I'm Tom Before You. That was my song, too. Now, Boy George began releasing solo material in 1987, scoring one UK chart topper in single Everything I Own. He also came out, I know he was. He also highlights as um, a DJ. Hold on, because let me pull this up as a background. I'm going to put up the deadline for um story. I was like, wait, is that the writer from Looking For? Is he single? I was like, ooh, I love a man with tattoos. <laughs> Mr. Man, I'm I'm always window shopping. And so they said, Deadline also reports that the biopic will focus on material covered in the star's autobiographies, Take It Like a Man, Straight and Karma, released in 1995, 2005, and 2023. I'm like, I didn't even realize he had that many, um, he did, he had that much, that many autobiographies. So, so the announcement has elicited a various a variety of reactions online, both from Boy George fans and detractors and biopic lovers and haters. Some have questioned whether the film will explore the controversies and legal troubles that have plagued the Grammy-winning musician's career since the star's ascension. In 2009, the victim's performer was sentenced to 15 months in prison for assaulting and falsely imprisoning Norwegian model and escort Auden Carlson. I think it's Aiden, but he spells it A-U-D-U-N. Though he pleaded not guilty, Boy George, real name George Allen O'Dowd, was found guilty of handcuffing Carlson to a radiator and beating him with a metal chain. I actually remember this story. Now, at the time of his conviction for the 2007 attack, the singer claimed to have been under the influence of the booger sugar and later said that he was suffering from a psychotic episode, probably from not sleeping, during the incident. Because, you know, that booger sugar keep your ass awake. Same thing with that, you know, that, that uh, glass pipe. You know, if you're a Methodist, you know what I'm talking about. Though he was sentenced to 15 months, he was released after serving four due to good behavior while in prison. He had to abide by a curfew and wear an ankle monitor for the remaining of the 15 months. Now, speaking on Piers Morgan Life Stories in 2017, I actually watched that episode. He apologized for stomp for stopping Carlson from leaving my apartment and said he was ashamed of what he did. Well, if you were ashamed, child, you better incorporate it in a damn movie because, like we said, we want warts and all. It's the same thing, like I said about them, why I'm always a little hesitant when it comes to biopics. Because the Michael Jackson one, I was like, if y'all not going to cover the molestation allegations, I don't want to see the film. You're not going to sit up here and show, you know, oh, when, when he his head caught on fire for all that damn Jerry Curl juice that he had up in his head and, you know, all the other stuff and how the painkillers over the years stem from, you know, his painkiller addiction stem from allegedly the pain that he endured when he was burned and probably all that damn plastic surgery he was getting um, and all the other stuff. Like, if you're not going to give me what needs to be given, I don't want to watch it. This is why I had an issue with another gay um, biopic, Bohemian Rhapsody. Y'all try to disney you know, that movie and try to make it like Freddie Mercury was in the coochie. We all know he was a whole, a whole homosexual. 
Because I'm like, he died of AIDS complications. He ain't get it from no woman. So why are we not exploring that? Y'all kind of just glossed over and just oh yeah, he was a he he was he had a, a relationship with a man at the end of the damn movie. Anyway, and I'm tired of y'all like qu- trying to queer wash things. So I feel like if y'all gonna do the movie, do warts and all. And that's not also what he was arrested again in 2005 in New York for possession of the booger sugar and falsely reporting a burglary. After denying the drugs were his own, the booger sugar possession charge was dropped. Remember when um, Paris Hilton was, you know, she was like, she had the cocaine and tried to lie. And then when she openly admitted it and she got, you know, a slap on the wrist, but then she violated her probation, which got her ass thrown in jail. I don't know why I just started thinking about that. Anyway, is that he was found guilty of a later charge, a latter charge, and sentenced to five days of community service in Manhattan. Just days later, the Ivor Novella Award winner and his former culture club bland members, Roy Hay and Michael, Mikey Craig, were forced to pay former band drummer John Moss 1.75 million pounds as part of a settlement over Moss's loss of tour earnings as he was expelled from the band in 2018. The star's most recent biography, Karma, does dedicate a, sesh, a section of his stay in prison as well as addressing his legal battle with Moss. So there is potential for those elements to be featured in the Bible. Well, child, y'all better. However, on social media, fans and Boy George lovers are sounding off. One person said, give me an effing break. No more biopics, please. Did these people run out of ideas? Question one time movie go on Twitter. Another person said, are they going to talk about that time Boy George chained up a man and beat him with a chain and went to prison for like four months? Another person posted, I wonder which heterosexual actor they're going to get to play him. <laughs> That's a good question. Let's regulate a third. Great Expectations actor Douglas Booth rose to prominence playing Boy George in the 2010 TV biopic, Worried About the Boy. I forgot. To, I totally forgot they made a movie on him. But yeah, that's a good question. Because I'd be feeling like, you know what? With this whole situation... I'm here for the biopic. I'm curious to see it. I'm wondering if they're going to, look, y'all better do this film justice. And then on top of that, it's like, yeah, if y'all going to do biopics, tell it all. I hate when y'all do these biopic movies and then y'all get into this whole situation of, oh yeah, I'm going to water it down. I'm going to just not really go there with the thing. And I'm like, um, we, we want we want the tea. I mean, that's why I like docu-series or documentary type stuff more so than a biopic because i'd be feeling like biopics y'all turn that shit into like a lifetime movie of the damn week and then i'd be disappointed so if y'all gonna tell it like i said if y'all gonna be doing all these things for the michael jackson to the britney spears to you know um and even on down to boy george y'all better tell it all and i'll be wondering like i can't think of somebody off the top of my head who do you think would be a good actor that could play Boy George. I say Joseph Quinn. Look at me trying to cast him in every damn thing. <laughs> Joseph Quinn can play him. He's a good chameleon, a karma chameleon. So he could play he could play that part and play Boy George. He was a little uh, he gave a little flamboyance to his role in um the a quiet place. Come to find out, they said his character was gay. But I was like, why do we even need to know that about his character? Because there was no alluding to it. Like, the only thing we knew about him was that he was in America because I guess he was here for college and his parents, you know, lived in London. So that's all we knew about him. But we didn't know about his sexual orientation. They had to bring it up in a thing. I guess people were speculating because of how he was carrying himself in the part. But it was never really like, we need to know he was a homosexual. But I would like to see him play an actual one and not just in passing hearing from the director as he could play Boy George. So I'll still just say, who do y'all think should play Boy George? And if you aren't in, are y'all here for this biopic? Let me know in the comments down below.